Marriage has been weaponized in Western Christianity. Giving has been weaponized in Western Christianity. Sexuality mm -hmm. has been weaponized. For example, any woman listening to this can attest in our culture. Don't be no 30, 35 year old single black woman and go to the family reunion. All the older women are going to do them. They're going to look at you and wonder why you where not you, married. Where your man at? Where your kids at? Like it's a prerequisite for identity and value that if you don't have a man, if you don't have kids, that something about you is broken. Mm. Do you understand how dysfunctional these messages are? Yeah. And how we super spiritualize these messages. Paul said, but marriage is a necessary distraction. Mm. I have many friends that, that, that were in ministry at church and the church has told them, if you're going to be in ministry, you can't be single. We're not going to let you work with the youth ministry if you're single. You can't do this if you're single. And so what people do, they quickly get married thinking that they're fulfilling God's will for their lives, but they are, they are, they are fulfilling man's dogma. You can be single and be used by God. You can be single and have purpose. Being married is not a prerequisite for God's hand on your life. It is not, but we've weaponized it. And then crucify people mm. with my camera. Right and there. Then, and then crucify people when those same marriages fail. I'm not gonna lie, he made some good points. I but, believe um, in marriage. He, he made, made some everybody. great points. He made some, no, I can't disagree. I, you want me to go well, first, I can't. I can't go ahead, go ahead. I emphatically disagree. Um, um, he made some good points. Now, one of the things he did say, which I do agree, especially me growing up in the church, growing up in the church, they do use the aspect of marriage a lot, that you can't be a part of the ministry unless you're married. Why? Because it looks good apart, pretty much look good upon the church. Now it look good, on, uh, according to them, it look good according to God as well. When two people are married, then they should be able to do stuff in the church. But at the same time, if you read the scriptures, there's people in the scripture who was never married and still was able to be used by God. But that's a topic for a whole nother day. Now, when it comes to the aspect of weaponizing Christian marriage, pretty much in westernized Christianity, uh, it's true. They use it for a lot. They tell you a man is no good. The man is useless if he's not married. The man, if he doesn't have kids, he's useless. The man, if he's not dating somebody, he's useless. So all of that plays a big part. And that's why right now dating is really messed up. Because number one, people don't really truly know how to date. People truly don't know the, the power of seduction. A lot of people don't even know how to pretty much court their woman. It's so many stuff that comes to the aspect of that as well when it comes to the dating world. And women too. Women, Some women don't even know how to treat a man right. Some women don't even know how to cook. It's so many things that go to the aspect of that. But I think weaponizing marriage in a Christian you already know, environment, I think it's very dangerous. But I do want to hear Hakeem's thought, and I might kind of take his point. But go ahead, Hakeem. Thank you, brother. Um, you want to know why it's important? Like, monogamy, relationship has, married, has been the focal point of religion as long as we can remember. No matter what religion are you talking about, they always talking about the togetherness of a man and a woman. That shit he said, he was just making that shit up as he go along. I've read the Bible. I've never heard no shit like that. That's some shit he said out his mouth. This is the problem we got with Christianity. People making shit up as they go along. Now, here's the thing now. The people who use and weaponize Christianity is the people like him. It's the pastor. What person, regular person, is weaponizing Christianity? He might bore you to death with it, but you can't praise it. The pastor's the one saying that. Why do God talks about the covenant in the Bible and getting married? Why is it in that? I don't show me somewhere in the scripture where it says being single is okay in the Bible. But you know a lot of people, but how can you know a lot of people was used by God that was single? You know that right? A lot of people. I understand that, but show me somewhere. Listen, God has special special requirements for special people. They wasn't talking about them being single in them. Jeez, listen, John, Jesus' daddy had to get married with somebody. Oh, um, Jeremiah, to... Jeremiah couldn't get married. He was a prophet. He was a, a high prophet. prophet in the Old Testament. Sure. Oh, Samson never got Samson got married, but then at the last woman he didn't marry. He was a he, he dated a lot of whores. David. <laughs> David was married, don't get me wrong, but he had multiple concubines. Show me Samson, in the uh, Bible. Solomon as well. 
Show me in the Bible where it says you can be single and used by God. Show me where he says it's okay to be single. Most of, uh, most of, you know, all the most half of Jesus' disciples were single. I understand that. But show me where it says in the four in that four in that four thousand year old text. It's not gonna say it. It's not gonna say it. But however, you could just you could clearly you gotta use you gotta use common sense. Just clearly, you see, no. Jesus had twelve disciples. All of them was not married. I can't. They still use brother, I love you, but here's the thing. This is the problem that we got. Do we go with anecdotal writing and evidence? Or do we start to just make stuff up as we go along? That man was talking. He's improv I've been to church. I've been to Bible study. I'd never heard that before. That's damaging. He's on some pop culture shit. Don't play with Jesus like that. Don't play with the Bible. I understand many people are called and used by God. Where does it say that in the Bible? The Bible says to that. Well, no, well, you can't be like you can't that like you need to be married to be used by God, Hakeem. That you no, need to be married to be used no, by God. You know what he saying? Say that. You don't mean even say that. It doesn't say that at all. That's what he's saying. That why I say it was a lot of single people. It, yeah, but, but it doesn't say to be single and used by God. But it does say you need to get married. It does say a man who finds a wife finds a good thing. I never heard it says a man who stays single is a good thing. But but Hakeem should have not. Answer this question then. Were there people that was using the Bible single? There, there was people in there single. God okay. had a special position to do certain things. But let me tell you something. That shit he said is damaging. It's damaging. There's a lot of pastors today, Hakeem, that are not married, still yet being used by God in a powerful and mighty way. There's a and, lot of them. And that's no problem. That's good. But let me, that's good. But like just like Joe Jonah Herner, the pastor could be the best and the worst representation. Now you think you know, no, man, we supposed to pair up. It says it all in the Bible. Nah, I agree. No, don't get me wrong. I agree. Man shouldn't be alone. You should have a woman. Yeah. You should have somebody there with you. But this is this is this is my thing. This is my thing. You don't need to be married to be used by God when you see a lot of people today, mm -hmm. and even in the scripture, you see them clearly. Being used by God in a mighty and powerful way. Samuel was anointed by God, anointing people all anointing kings. He was never married. Yeah. I already used Jeremiah as one. Mm -hmm. And I think Ezekiel as well. Ezekiel, another powerful one. Mm -hmm. I don't think he was married as well. If he wasn't married. Now, Moses, Moses was married. Moses had, I think he. I think historically they say he had like I think three or four wives. He was married. Abraham was married. Mostly all his kids was married in the old covenant. That's it. But in the New Testament, a lot of them wasn't married. A lot of them wasn't married. And it was still used in a powerful way. I understand that, but it does not. But what 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 Kirk Franklin said, he's he was saying his he was saying his opinion. I can't believe you have a dollar right now. I know. And let, you can agree yeah, with that's what he's saying. But yeah, he's yeah, still yeah. saying he's his opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly, yeah, this man been a minute to over 20. You can't forget over yeah, minute over that. 30 listen, years. Listen, you're right. Listen, listen. It's a, I'm still I'm still learning, baby. I'm still learning. When I'm telling you, I'm still learning. That's why I'm looking at you, Ronnie. I'm like, he's right. Like, 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 bro. Like, I'm like, when I heard, listen, I had to sit down and swallow myself to be like, what this man saying? This Kirk Franklin. Man, um, salute to that. And stop. And should have uh should to but I, I came though. I did state in my commentary, it does look good mm -hmm. if the man and woman are married. It looks good yes. for ministry. It, I did say that. It, no, you did but I, no, you no. don't need to be married to be used by God. I don't think so. No, no, I no, think no, God no. will use any he will use a donkey, he use a donkey's ass. To speak to the children of Israel, he'll use anything he wants. It, and God is God you. Almighty; can't touch him. And I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. I didn't disagree. I just saying that. I, I, I the only thing I'm wondering is well, he's saying it like that. That was in the Bible. True. We see your comment. We're gonna drop the link shortly. I just want to have this dialogue. Yeah. I came first, and I know Jordan gonna do his commentary. Then he could. I can drop the link so he can come out and true say he have something to say. Shout out to Next Level, who's also in the building. 
but go ahead, Jordan. Um, oh. your commentary in there. Uh, I can't even drop the link so truth will come up. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's might as well be quick and short. Like I said, when it comes to God, like I say, married or not, God can use you any anywhere if you're single or not, whatever. It's I, I think it's important and everything. Uh, with Kurt, uh, to me, Kurt Frank, I think he's, he's doing that trying to go viral. That's just me, and, and, and he did that, and that's what he did and everything. Because some of the stuff he was sound like, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know, like that's where he was going with it and everything, you know. But I, but I mean, I do agree with uh, that uh, uh, Western uh, uh, Christianity is 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 being weaponized, you know, in here in the United States. You know, it's 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 a big thing here. It's, it's definitely a big thing here. But um, yeah, the stuff he was saying with that, you know, I mean, shout out to Kevin oh. Newton, you know, he, he was on a podcast and everything. Oh. Yeah, I, I I didn't know he was going. I didn't know he was going up with. I I didn't know where he was going to with that. But when it comes to like you know going to like black churches and everything, it's it is definitely not the same because like I said, a lot of men are not in the church no more. Meaning that you know it's hard for women to get married because you know, you know the preacher they speak now. You know they, they you know they now speak how it was back in the in the nineties and early two thousands and everything. So yeah, that's that's my quick take on that. No, no, but Jordan, you gotta say so. Even the scripture they say, um, God is doing a new thing. I forgot exactly what scripture says that. Um, mm -hmm. they say God is doing a new thing, and that's what's happening in this generation. This generation, God is doing a new thing, and um, uh, marriage to me is not needed like it is before. Like people are being used by God in a powerful and mighty way, and I, I, I clearly, you can clearly see it. You can clearly see it. Now in the black churches, I agree. Black churches, they really force people to get married and i think that's the issue they're marrying people that's not compatible with each other i think mimi said that one time on action park i feel like yeah. if you're not compatible with the other person why are you getting married with them why are you dating them y'all not compatible date somebody that you are compatible with don't just date somebody because they they um pretty much they got resources go ahead can you gonna say something the church, go. the church need to have a dating service strictly for christians and to into uh, into um examine these guys from the teeth and they do they do. Remember, most of the time, if you're dating somebody within the church, they tell you go see your local pastor, and he supposed to evaluate you guys and make sure you guys are compatible. A good, healthy church, that is. Not all churches are good, but a good, healthy church, they normally have conferences where people will sit down with marriage licensed counselors, and they will be literally talk and have conversations and say, okay, are you guys truly compatible? Does it make sense? Does he get you on a personal, and not only that, on a spiritual level? I do research on all these things. I would say it's good to be well taught and everything. So, but I think in this generation, Hakeem, they could care less about marriage. I'm just being totally honest with you. I, I agree with you. Go ahead, True. Hey, what's going on, Brodies? How y'all feel? Jenna, what's good? Yo, doing good. Go, go right here. Good, good. Uh, you know, when it comes to this word, that that's first. Uh, that's first. That's my lifestyle. So I definitely wanted to cover up uh, and highlight y'all about this. So give me the uh, give me the rundown of the premise, so I can be make sure I can be accurate and correct when it comes to this Bible. I don't play games with that. Everything else. Go ahead, play let. the video again, um, Hakeem. Yeah, just play the video again for people that watch. I hear y'all talking, but I want to make sure before I say that that person said something versus what y'all talking about. I want to make sure I'm correct. Um, Natasha Vincent, saying your home church is a dating is a dating service. Some people they are. Go ahead. Yeah, it should be. Don't be no 30, 35 year old single black woman and go to the family reunion. All the older women are gonna do nothing, they're gonna look at you and wonder why you where not you, married. Where your man at? Where your kids at? Like it's a prerequisite for identity and value that if you don't have a man, if you don't have kids, that something about you is broken. Mm. Do you understand how dysfunctional these messages are yeah. and how we super spiritualize these messages? Paul said, but marriage is a necessary distraction. Mm. I have many friends that 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 were in ministry at church and the church has told them, if you're going to be in ministry, you can't be single. We're not going to let you work with the youth ministry if you're single. Yep. You can't do this if you're single. And so what people do, they quickly get married thinking that they're fulfilling God's will for their lives. But they are, they are, they are fulfilling man's dogma. You can be single and be used by God. You can be single and have purpose. Being married is not a prerequisite for God's hand on your life. It is not. But we've weaponized it. And then crucify people. Mm. 
Wemma Cameron. Right and there. Then, and then crucify people when those same marriages don't. Fail! There you go. That's the breakdown. So we was we were, we were doing commentary on that. Go ahead, True. <laughs> people, yo, you know what? This world is is, is, is so uh, so messed up, man. It's not even funny. It's just uh, it's truly amazing what's going on in these times right now, and like uh, you know, this is why I encourage and and stress people, uh, you know. Please, please build yourself a relationship with God through Jesus Christ because it, it is so essential of what's happening right now. And all of this, all of what's going on right now is in my father's word. It literally has it's literally been talked about and it's happening right before our eyes. And it's astonishing. It's, it's really astonishing. Uh, what he's talking about, I will say this emphatically. Sometimes people can be used in a situation that they don't even know uh, what they're even about. Um, whether you're a child of God or not, you're still going to serve God, whether you want to or not. Whether you're his child, you can bend your knees and, 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 and um, sing praise with your head held high. And 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 solidarity and 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 thanksgiving and grace and happiness, or you can be on your knees with your head bowed because you're ashamed and you're trembling and you're in fear because you know what's to come. You know the word of God says, "Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of all," and that's what's going to happen, regardless whether you think it's true or not. So let's deal with the situation when y'all was talking about. Uh, does somebody have to be married to be a pastor? Is that that's basically what I was talking about, right? No, not be a pastor, but to be used by God. You have to be married to be used by God. And the aspect when it comes to the form of the church. The, well, well, the church is. Uh, I mean, the pastor is the the one that's the leader of the church. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily, because there's some people that do youth service. There's some people that do um stuff with the kids, you know, different, 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 you know, different roles in the church. Do you need to be married? All right. So my plain, my plain and simple question is, is you're talking about the leader of the church or you're just talking about little things in the church? Which one? Little things those... within the church. Little things within the church. Because what Kurt Franklin was coming from was like little things within the church. He didn't say nothing too major. He said how we weaponize marriage in the Western uh, Christianity. Okay, that you I'm need to do by, certain things to be used by God. Go ahead. So I'm gonna answer what I saw in the video, and then I'm gonna answer you. On the video, he said people that actually have churches, which means they are pastors, they run that church, and then I'm gonna answer what you said. So the deal with is, if you take, uh, if you want to be a pastor or bishop of a church, you have to be married. It's not a, it's not a choice. And this is why. It's where where did say that in the Bible? Where did say that in the Bible? I already yeah. got you, my brother. You know this Go is ahead. my life right here. So. Shout outs to my half brother, Diary of an Angry Mix Black yeah. Man. Yeah, but shout out. I'm, I'm gonna get a suit just like you, brother. <laughs> yeah, so that's clean. Me, so dad can make me proud. I'm gonna get it. He, he got. I'm gonna because my brother always looks sharp. Go ahead, brother. All right. So I stress people emphatically. This is why I say, please build a relationship with God, with Jesus Christ, where you know Him as Father, and get into Your Word. Because you know with stuff like this is it. It's all the answers you want is in the word. All right, so it's first okay. Timothy third chapter. This is a true saying. If a man desires the office of a bishop, he desires a good work, a bishop that must be blameless, the husband of one wife. There go your answer, but I'm gonna continue reading because it's other things vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hostility about a part to teach, not given too much wine, not striker, not given um, greedy of filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous, one that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. Um, for if a man know not his how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Question mark. 
not a novice, least he being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, least he fall into reproach in the snare of the devil. Likewise, must be the deacon be grave, not double tongue, not given too much wine, not greedy or filthy lucre, holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience, and let these also first be proved. Then let them use the office of deacon being found blameless. Even so must their wives must be grave, not slanderous, not so, I mean, must be sober, faithful in all things. Let the deacons be the husband of one wife, ruling their children in their own house as well. For they that have used to the office of deacon will purchase to themselves a good degree and great boldness in the faith which is in Jesus, which is in Christ Jesus. These things are I write unto the hoping to come unto thee shortly. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar of, and ground of the truth. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed in one in the world, and received up in glory. Um, the fallible word of God. So that's your answer. The answer is no. You cannot be in the uh, in um, the house of God in the ministry without being married. Says the word. Um, quick, quick question: Was Jesus married? Was Jesus married? Yes. Yes, he was married to the church. That's not my question. Were you married to a woman? No, that's that's uh he was married to the church. Okay, now, I, I use I use that I use that example. I use another one. Was Peter married? Was Peter? Yes. Peter was not married. Are you crazy? Do you read he was the not married? You want yes, me to show you? Not, you uh, so, uh, Do you, you want me Peter to show left you his wife? Do Do you you Peter left me? his wife. He left his wife. Do you want me to show you where he was married? Uh, yes, you know what? You know, you, you, you know, Jesus' the disciple left his wife. I ask you a question. He left his wife. Do you he left his wife. To show you where he was married. I give you another one. John, was John married? No, before we jump anywhere else, you ask me. A question. I'm giving you the, I'm giving you the disciple. Uh, hold on, I'm giving the disciple. I give, I'm giving his disciple. You say Jesus was married. I told you he was married, but he left his wife. So that's one. John was with John. Um, okay, John married. So you said something, but we're going to go to the word. <laughs> see, see, you scared. You can't be scared. I'm, I'm at you. You say, yeah, he was married. I'll tell you, he left his wife. See, I do. I told you, I do research. He left his wife. I just told you, he left his wife. Are you you talking to so me? So that means. You just the, talk? The, well, you asked me. I'm, a question. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, I'm asking you. You say he was married. I say, um, did he leave right, his wife? And you said, you did ready? he leave his wife? Me to go. Okay, so I'm giving you, I'm giving you, I'm giving you all the disciples. Man, uh, Judas was Judas married before he betrayed Jesus? No. What what the man? I, all these names I just gave you were they all part of the on the ministry of Jesus? Was they a part of the ministry of Jesus? Was they a part of the ministry? Yes. Of Jesus. Of yeah. Jesus. Yeah, they was. The I'm talking about New Testament. I'm not going Old Testament. So clearly. Clearly, Jesus sees something in them that was very powerful to be able to use these men, even though these men was not married, or even mm -hmm. though these men left their wife. Mm -hmm. So what 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 changed now? Why do all the time I got to get married or do something to fall in the line of ministry when Jesus clearly got men that was not married at all and still be able to use it in a powerful way? Are you asking? Then go ahead. You can answer the question. You go to go to Peter first. Show that Peter was married, and then also answer the question I just said. So no go problem. ahead. You can go. I'm gonna be. Quiet. I always go to the word because that's the only thing that's important. Not my words, not nobody's word. God's words. Oh yeah, and the thoughts of business also say she say Paul was not married either, and he was still used by God. That's true. Paul was not married as well. But go ahead, go ahead, true. I don't want to confuse. You, but start with Peter first, and then you answer everything else. Go right ahead. You, the floor oh, is yeah. yours. Literally, the floor is yours. Yes, sir. Matthew 8, 14, 5. And when Jesus was coming to Peter's house, he saw his wife's wife's mother laid and sick of a fever. And he touched her hand and the fever left and she arose and ministered unto them. Okay. There go one. No, keep going. John. 
John Judas. Quest. No, I'm saying John. You say um that's the name. John Judas. Um the target say Peter. Peter was never married. However, that one say he was on um, Peter. No, I'm not Peter. Sorry, on um, Paul. Sorry, wrong one. Paul. Paul was never, excuse me, Paul was never married, but yeah, he was still used by God in a powerful way. He actually built the pretty much a lot of people say historically he built the church of Jesus because he literally went outside of Jerusalem and went to foreign lands and preaching the gospel. All right, let me know when you finish. No, I'm just going. I'm done. I'm saying it's the floor of you. I'm just I'm just giving you the names. So John, so John and Paul, mm -hmm. all these men was were not married, but yet they were still used by God. So explain that how they were still able to be used by God, even though they was not married. Go ahead and explain. All right. So earlier I said this is why we gotta stay stay on subject. Earlier I said there are two um types of questions that you're asking. The first question I said I'm gonna ask answer what uh Kirk Franklin said in the video. Kirk Franklin said, I know people that are in the churches that aren't married that own and run the church as pastors. That's what he said to uh, Cam Newton. The question is, should you, we're talking about righteousness, not can you, because we can do anything we want to do. Can you and should you under God hold the uh, house of bishop or a pastor in a church? The Bible says no. Now, the second thing was what you're talking about is ministry ministry is something that you can have it's it's everywhere it's in your walk is what you do for god anything i can open up a basketball camp and pray to them read the bible to kids that would be my ministry it's uh it's another name for evangelism and that's what it uh means it just means to go out and you know preach the gospel and stuff like that that's what the uh the disciples did the disciples did not own a church or a church building. They wasn't a flock leader. What do you mean? They, they, they was there. <laughs> well, go ahead. Well, I'm going to let you continue. I'm not going to interrupt. Yeah. So what you would have to do is show me this because it's very specific. And this is why we can't be ignorant. You have to be very specific. A church leader is someone that, that runs a body like a shepherd. There's nowhere in the Bible that says those disciples ran a body of people like a shepherd. And you have what? To show, can you what? show me without talking? Like how I showed you. You got to go to that word, brother. That? That's the only thing I trust. Okay. Who, who wrote these books of the Bible? Like so the book that the, the Bible just Timothy was one. Peter wrote a Did book. You hear what I uh, Paul was in Corinthians. He was in Corinthians. He led people in Corinthians and showed them the okay, gospel of Christ. What are you talking about? Again. I'm going to be very specific. I'm going to be very so specific. So you want me to be once again? Once again I'm going to ask you a specific <laughs> question. You got to pay attention, brother. Pay, pay attention. Listen to me carefully. There's a very difference between a person that evangelizes and a pastor. These are different gifts given by God. They're in the Bible. In the book of Corinthians, they talk about many having many gifts. A pastor and an evangelist or a person that has a ministry are two different people. How so? It's just like what David did and what Paul did is two different things. They're great men of God, but they're two different people. David was a king of what? A body of people. What were they called, brother? Do you know their name? Say it again. Oh, what the people? Were? Yes. Y yes. The Jews. What was their name? Yeah, the Jews, the children Israelites, of Israel. Israel. Okay. Yeah. So you see how he was in charge of a body of people. He was in charge but, of all the people. But Paul was Paul was the leader of the church. No, no. Was he not? What I'm, listen to what I'm saying. No, Where I'm asking you. I'm listening to no, you. Is, no, I'm, I'm gonna say no. Where was Look. it in the Bible? Jordan, Paul wasn't the leader of the church. Where is it in the Bible? I, I need to see it. Leave it, Jordan. Love it, Hakeem. Hakeem, yeah, who went to Bible yeah. school? Hakeem, Hakeem, there. Yeah, Hakeem, Hakeem, there. Hakeem, me, Hakeem, 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 there. Hakeem, Hakeem, there. Hakeem, step away. You probably went to the restaurant. Yeah, Hakeem, I'm here. I'm away. here. We all Hakeem. Here. Well, Paul was the leader of the church. If um, you want to know, Paul. Something, I would, yeah, I would have to look that up. Hold on one yeah, minute. Please look it no, up. No, look it brother. up. Hakeem, 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 get me. Because remember, I don't. I'm being. Honest, I'm not on my computer, so I can't. I can't. Be, but I guarantee you, Paul was the leader of the church. 
right. Mostly, mostly everybody that was on the po- mostly all the people that like Timothy. Um, uh, what's his, what's the guy name? There's another one too. Um, in the in the New Testament, all of them was under Paul. They would go to Paul for counseling. Mm-hmm. So it says Paul was the apostle, was a apostle, was a leader in the early Christian church. Thank you. Yep. There you okay. go. <laughs> listen. Okay, now listen carefully. I'm listening listen carefully. carefully. Go ahead, this listen is good. I like it. This is good. Said. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so once again, my brothers, y'all got to listen and understand. Did he own a church with a body of people? No. But in the church is a body of people. Church is church is where God is. Is it not true? And you know, okay. I know you believe that. All right, so church you're is where at, God is. Ask me a question. Yes. That I'm sentence. Question. That sentence is talking about myself. That's talking about people like Jordan. If he believes in God, you you're Christian mm-hmm. or Jordan? Absolutely. Yeah, Jordan okay. is Christian. So when it says the leader of the church, the church, that's me. Jordan, yes, he would be our leader. He would be a leader of us. Is he the leader of a church like a building, like like TD Jakes, like a shepherd over what's the name? Would those are man made those, those are him? main no, that was a main made build thing. Okay, let me True, know. Those are man made build things. Okay, let me know when you finish up. Number two, two, you talking about man built things. The church is whatever God is. That's that's what I've been taught since I was a kid. Church is wherever God is. So if you're in the park and you have a group of people there with you, that is the church. But go ahead, True. I'm not going to interrupt you no more. Go ahead. Teach. Go All right. Ahead. Thank you. So once again, there is a difference between being responsible for a body of people and someone going around preaching to God. He didn't have a body of people. That nigga was in jail most of the goddamn time. Do you know that? Yes, I'm aware of that. <laughs> Do you know more than 60% of his goddamn going ministry for God? He was in jail. Yes. Do you know that, right? Yes. Corinthians. Do you know where he was at? In jail. Galatians. He, Do you yeah. know where he was at? In jail. So who was following? Where, where, all, these great, where all these people at? Remember, I, didn't I just say they would go see him for counseling? Did I not tell you that they would <laughs> literally go see Paul for counseling, even though he asked me he was in jail? I didn't mention that. Him I didn't that. Go see him how? When when he would get out of jail, you know, sometimes he get out of jail through angels. You know, that's be like, <laughs> and we'll open up the gate. No, not true. You think I'm not true? You know, I'm not making that up now. No, you know, I'm not. You know, I'm not making that up. He would literally, uh, angel would literally hey, let Paul out of jail. Hey, Paul would funny. get out of jail. And he will go. Yeah, mind if I keep it in home? Keep it in, keep it in mind. He will go to other people's home, and they will go see Paul. And All you know, right, I'm not so making that up. Based off of the Bible, because that's where we're gonna go by. Yeah, go, the go man, based on the man was a nomad, just like Christ. He went in different lands and preached the gospel. He didn't have a sector of just a specific body of people that he preached to, and that he was responsible for over and over and over and over again the man was locked up so he had to actually write letters which are the letters in the bible to go to different churches to make sure they was acting right he was write a letter to their leader their pastor whoever was responsible for their synagogue at the time and make sure he was doing right so what he did was built other leaders so they can build churches he wasn't the pastor of the Corinthian church. He wasn't a pastor, uh, uh, pastor of the church in Tart, uh, Tartus. He wasn't a pastor, pastor of none of those. He was a nomad. And he traveled. Those are two different things. Does he have to be married? No. He don't have to be married. If you are responsible for a body of people on, that underneath of you, you have to be married. Why? Because under you is going to be people that are married and they need that guidance. They need it. They need to see that example. They need to see you walking with your wife. They need to see you you loving your wife. We don't just see the pastor. We see the pastor and his wife. People don't take marriage counselors from single pastors. Yeah, they, they do. do. What? what? 
They got what's they the do? name? What you I'm talking about? Majority, you say- I'm, I'm talking about majority people. I'm not talking about minority. Okay. 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 I don't deal with, yeah, yeah, because they don't matter. They don't matter. That's very minute. We're talking about majority of people. When you hear marriage counselor, that man has a wife. Only a fool is going to say, I need marriage counselor, and you ain't even got a wife to depend on to take care of. You ain't got no kids. You ain't got no. You go home by yourself and beat your thing. And I'm going to ask you, how the heck can you help me deal with a fleshly loving woman that need me? You can't teach me that. You can't teach me that. You're by yourself. You're by yourself. You cannot teach me that. That's why if you go in the beginning of the Bible, very rarely did you see any of those people ever talking about marriage back then. They ain't talking about no God. David wasn't teaching nobody how to be married. First and foremost, that man was an adulterer. What is he going to teach you about being a good Christian, loving, godly man of God that teach that uh, take care of your wife and children and all this type of stuff? That man ain't that man ain't know that. All he knew is about I'm a follow God. I'm a wreck stuff, and I'm a do it God's way. And we're going to own all this stuff. And I'm taking your wife too. That's what he was about. That di- marriage is about uh, being a pastor. You have to be married. That's what it says in the Bible. If you can prove me in the Bible where it contradicts or says 1 Timothy chapter 3 isn't true, then we can go that route. But that's I don't what have my, I, mean, I don't have my notes with me. I'm being honest. I didn't really do research on the aspect of that. Because I'm being honest. Me... I think we, like I was telling Hakeem in my commentary, yep. I say we live in a different form of generation. The generation is not doing the old traditional thing of man need to be married to run the church. A lot of people now, they are running the church and they are single with no correct. child. And they're running correct. thing. And I told Hakeem, it looks good. If I want to be gay, I can run be married. If I want to be gay, I can run the church. Absolutely, correct. Yeah. In today's society. Okay. That in is today's correct. Time, right. But that's where I'm but going. Back then, you couldn't do that. Back then, no. Yeah, yeah back then, no. yeah, you could do anything you want to do here. I could cut somebody's head off and run a church. But guess where Correct. you're going at? Church is for who? God. So guess where you're going at? Hell. They they, okay. they want to go to right. the, they, they wanna go the age. That's on them. That's, that's, on that's, them. Where the, yeah, that's where it matters. What are you running a church for if it wasn't other than for money? M- that's what money. the Westernized church is. It's a monopoly now. It don't matter. T.D. Jakes, Joe Osteen, all of them are going to hell. They're going to rot and be fricasee. They're going to bust hell wide open. Because all of them are disobeying that book that we read out of every day. They disobeying um, the hell out of it. Shout, shout out to Shai Simone. She said something that I really like. What she said, she said, marriage counseling before marriage could help you decide what you're looking for. That is facts. What happened? I agree with uh, Shai Simone on that. Yes, that is facts. Okay. Going to um, marriage counseling before you actually get married, or pretty much what you're looking for. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to say.